Air. Now let's talk about Air. We have uh, Air 2.0 that we're working on right now. That, of course, includes uh, what we're working on in Flash Player 10.1, as well as updating WebKit uh, and adding new Air capabilities. Some of the things we're doing are surfacing more capabilities of the local device, like, for example, USB support. Um, we're also in supporting integration with native applications, which has been a top request uh, in the community. So you can integrate with native code uh, with Air now. And you can also integrate with native apps by launching them. And we've also worked on memory usage inside Air. Uh, some of you may have noticed that Air uses some uh, significant RAM in some applications, like TweetDeck. We've been working to reduce RAM usage in Air uh, 2.0. So TweetDeck, for example, will be using 35% less RAM running on Air 2 than it did on Air 1.5. So we're making progress in RAM not only for smartphones, but also for the personal computer. We're also working on capabilities uh, to enable some really interactive new games and other experiences by supporting socket servers and UDP support. So if you know what that is, you might be excited about that. And, um, that's going to enable you to build local servers. Uh, you can do low-level network communication. You can make multi-user games, peer-to-peer -peer stuff. A lot of really great stuff will be enabled by that. So uh, we also have support now for building accessible applications. So you can have uh, great uh, compliant applications for all of your users. Now, let's take a look at some uh, examples of Air here. So the first thing I want to show you is integration with the USB support in Air 2.0. And I have here a flip video camera. And you can record HD video on this thing. And it's got a USB jack that pops out right there. And I have over here an application that is a, an example application to show the USB support called FileTile. And what I'm able to do is take the USB camera, and I'm going to plug it into the side of the computer here. And Air will recognize it and load it. I'm going to unplug the audio here so I can, OK. I've got that plugged in. It should now notice the USB device was detected. And then it should show some stuff. Um, in this application, so let me look at the content. There we go, cool. So it's now detected the content on the USB storage device. It's shown it to be here. You can see I've got some videos here. And I've got the Premiere uh, logo on here because the video on my computer is associated with, with Premiere Pro. And so if I want to open that, we also support launching native applications on uh, Air 2. So I can just double click this content from the USB device. It launches Air, uh, launches Premiere Pro, and opens the video. And here we have a little video we filmed backstage of Ted Patrick messing around with one of the computers. All right. Hey, Ted? OK. <laughs> OK, so that's an example of USB video. The next thing I wanted to show you is an example of integration with local uh, processing on the computer. And this is just a, a demo of using Spotlight on the Mac as well as searching Google and Wikipedia. So if I want to search for um, a, uh, a car, for example, I'm doing research on Tesla, for example. I can do a search, and it will find the local data on my computer. That was delivered by Spotlight right away. So it's call calling native capabilities on the computer, as well as bringing in information, of course, via the web. So again, with Air blending the web experience and the local experience, so you can have one interface that's representing both of those worlds and bridging it together for you. So the other uh, thing I want to show is something that also is a major request, which is supporting the microphone and being able to record locally without having to go to a server. So we're supporting this now uh, in Air 2. And you can see I'll be able to, I can record a little message here. Hi, this is Kevin. And I can stop that, and I should be able to play it back here. And this happened all locally on the computer in Air. Hi, this is Kevin testing audio. Hi, this is Kevin testing audio. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, and if I want to make myself sound like a chipmunk, I can use local processing in Air to do that. Hi, this is Kevin testing audio. All right, there we go. OK. OK. Um, so in addition to these capabilities in Air, uh, we're also working on um, supporting the integration of native code in a, in a much tighter way than you could do with Air 1.5. And the example I'm going to give you uh, here is League of Legends, which is a massively multiplayer game. Uh, and it's using Air as the user interface for the game and setting up the game, and then integrating with native code to actually do the in-play uh, game rendering. And so we have an interface here where I can uh, read about the game and log in and view my profile. and all the, all the stuff about the game. This is an Air application running on my computer. And I can click Play. I'm still in Air. I can choose the kind of game I want to play. I'll play a practice game. And uh, you can see there's a bunch of games that are happening. These are live games. Here's the one uh, backstage that we were playing. And you can see I can go into Summoner's Rift here, and I can join this game. Now, 
This, the, all this coordination and this multi-user communication is actually happening on the back end uh, with Lifecycle Data Services. So this is an Air application. Uh, Lifecycle DS is running on the back end. These massively multiplayer games have really significant uh, enterprise back ends to them, uh, though the business logic is, of course, different on these. Um, the business here is more about casting spells and killing monsters, but um, here's my password, OK. OK, so you can see the gameplay here. There's my avatar. That's my robot that I'm playing with. And you can see I can go uh, run around here and uh, go to where the monsters are. And I can help fight these monsters with my minions. OK, so great example of native code being rendered here as well as an air front end to the game so you can get into it. Now our goal, of course, over time is to enable uh, the whole game uh, to be built in air. And we'll continue to move forward in enabling new uh, capabilities for rendering and graphics and enable even more gameplay inside of air. So air 2, some great progress with air.